Hello, how are you? Hello. Hello, Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi, how are you guys? Good night. Good night. Very good. That's nice to hear. All righty, I have a lot of people here and I have a new one, by the way. Mr. Victor, how are you, sir? It's been a pleasure. There you go. We cannot hear you. There you go. Victor, I cannot hear you. Okay, cool. Now I can hear you. Go ahead. How are you, sir? Good, are you? Pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. With a lot of energy, as always. Hey, tell us a little bit about yourself. About me? Yes. Um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you should know. For example, no. how old are you? Well, yes. I am from Chalatenango. I live here in Chalatenango. Nice. I had 20, 26 years old. And I don't know. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I think Fernando's is still the baby of the group. Okay. <laughs> yes, right, Fernando? Yeah, teacher. How old are you, sir, by the way? Oh, <laughs> very good. Yes, you are 20 or 21 years old? Uh, 20, 20, 25. Ah, 25, okay. 25, But yeah. still, you are the baby. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, so? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, you are. Yeah. And what about you, Gabby? How old are you, Gabby? Uh, um, 23. I know, so she's the baby. Ha! Shame of you, Fernando. <laughs> You're not the baby anymore. It's going to be Gabby. Yes, so that's nice. <laughs> okay, hello everybody. How was your day, guys? Uh, very good. Very good? Yeah. Nice. Um, okay, tell me, Luis Alberto, what did you do yesterday or today? Um, um, I am uh, a, little, a little tired. Okay. Because I work in, um, I work in so much. Oh, okay, it was a tough day for you. You worked really hard today. Okay. 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 But I'm really happy that you're here. Uh, Shows your you. commitment. Yes, I'm so happy to see you. That's nice. I want. I love to see all my babies. I'm happy every time that I see you. You know what? We have a new student. It's not a new student for me because it used to be on my last model, but it's new classmate for you. Mr. Christian. Hi, Christian. How are you, sir? Hi, teacher. Hi, everybody. Hi. I, Hi. I am very happy for the start of a game. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, Christian, tell us a little bit about yourself because we have new classmates. Okay. Tell us about yourself. Okay. Uh, my name is Christian. I am... I live in Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. I am 34 years old and I am work in the Cameron office. And for the quarantine, I am working from my house. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So guys, if you would like to spend your vacation in a great place, you can come to Christian. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> He will give you some good advice and will also provide you great discounts. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. He said like okay. no. <laughs> All righty. Very good. It's nice to have you back. We miss you, Christian, but I'm so happy to have you back as well. All okay. righty, guys. Let me ask you. Did you do your homework? Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, very good. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, 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 Victor, you are, don't worry, okay? You were not okay. here yesterday, so like, Victor was like, mm, yeah. almost having a heart attack, like, oh my God, what was it? <laughs> yeah, you're I don't like, know what you're talking like, about. Boom, 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 like, oh, no, wait, no, 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 don't worry about that, Victor, okay? But pay attention to your classmates, because tomorrow I'm going to ask you the homework, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you will do it as well, okay? So don't worry, but today, 
Don't worry, <laughs> you are forgiven. Okay, very good. Who wants to start? Okay, thank you so much for participating. Gabby, go ahead. For me? Yes, Gabby, Gabby with M, yes. Okay, um, hey, I'm my sorry. first... Sorry to interrupt you, Gabby. Uh, tell me, guys, what was the homework? Do you remember? <laughs> Make sentence make about sentences. With make what? Three adverbs three before make sentences. adjectives. Very good. I asked, there were a lot of adverbs before adjectives, but which one I ask you to make sentences which? Very? Extremely, very, and really. And, and really or pretty? Pretty. Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty. 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 Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. Very good. No, don't worry about it, Gabby. Okay, Gabby, now let's listen to you. Go ahead. Okay, um, the first one, um, study, study grammar is extremely important. Okay, very good. I'm the same opinion as you. Go ahead, <laughs> second example, please. Okay, it's a very interesting documental. Very good, and the last one? And the last one, um, my cousin is pretty tall for his age. Okay, excellent job. Very good. Excellent. Great job, Gabby. Now you can pick somebody else, please, of your classmates. Okay. Um, Mauricio Velasquez. Okay, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Velasquez. How are you, sir? <laughs> <laughs> okay, next. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi. Everybody. we're listening Hi. to you. Go ahead, sir. Uh, my homework, okay. Yes. Uh, my first sentence is El Salvador is extremely funny country. Very good. My brother is very good person. Mm. The Cathedral in Santa Ana is pretty good church. Very good. Excellent job. Pick another classmate piece. Okay. Uh, Randomly. Ruben Moran. <laughs> I knew it. Go ahead. Hello. Uh, my homework uh, is. You didn't do it. Uh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. The department La Union is extremely hot. The second sentence: uh, The night is pretty cold. Mm -hmm. And the three the, sentence. The third one. The computer is very expensive. Is very? Is, uh, this computer is, is very expensive. Okay. It's very mm -hmm. expensive. Very good job. Excellent. Good job, Mr. Moran. Monsieur Moran. <laughs> it's très génial. It's very good. You're going to learn Thanks. French as well, okay? Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Okay, Mr. Moran, now pick another one, please. Uh, Gabi? Uh, Gabby without M, right? Uh, okay. Yes, yes, go ahead. Okay. Um, the first one is the teacher uh, speak English extremely good. Thank you. <laughs> ah, she's a big Duncan. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Duncan with uh, life. <laughs> Very good. Give me the five, Mauricio. Yay. Shiny, shiny Duncan. <laughs> Okay. Amazing. The second one, that car is pretty nice. And the third one, uh, my grandmother cooks uh, very well. Your grandmother cooks very well. Yes. Excellent job. Very good, Gabby. All right, Gabby, pick another one. Uh, Fernando Minero. All righty. Okay. Minero, <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Uh, only two teachers. Go ahead, that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, working from home is very interesting. Okay, it's good. Uh, my grandmother how is pretty beautiful. Very good. Excellent yeah. job. Only Great teacher. Job. Great job. Pick another one. Go ahead, Fernando. And... Da, 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 da. The other... The other... What is the other phrase, teacher? No, uh, pick, pick another classmate. Claudi, Luis Alberto. Okay, okay, okay. Mm, Luis Alberto. Good night. I knew Sorry it. To be late. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. My sentences. Mm -hmm. First, 
the new methods of class uh, is extremely effective. Very good. It's the second. This is a very interesting class. Mm -hmm. And the last, the last sentences, the weather will be very cold today. Very good. Excellent job, Mr. Luis Alberto. Give me Joel Pfizer. That's amazing. Woohoo! Yay. Excellent. Pick another co-worker, please. Uh, okay. Uh, Julio. Bravo. Julio. Julio. Okay, my man, Julio. Go ahead, sir. Julio, do you listen to us? Oh, I think yeah, it's yeah, yeah, Sarita yeah. or Martita, you. Yeah. Like my girl with the headsets. Sarita. Sandra. Sandra. Um, oh, yes. Confused Thank with you, my husband. Thank you, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Julio. Okay, okay. It's Sandra. Okay, it's Sandra. Sandra. My name is Sandra. <laughs> At least I start with an S, okay? So good. Okay, okay. okay. Um, San Salvador is really nice. It's second sentence, um, my pet is extremely cute. Ooh, okay. <laughs> um, Guatemala is fairly cold. Very good. Excellent job. Excellent job. <laughs> Give me those five. Excellent. All righty. Now pick another co worker, please. Um, oh, another classmate. Okay. Victor Landaverde. Victor Landaverde. Okay. <laughs> Monsieur Landaverde. Um. Ooh. I don't know. I knew here this is ah, my yes. first class. Yes, so don't worry, okay? He's, he, 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 okay. he cannot do that, okay? Don't worry. He's going to do it tomorrow, so he's paying attention. Speak another okay. one. Okay, okay. Yeah, another one. Uh, another one. Um, Claudia Trigueros. Yes, Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my girl, Hi. go ahead. Hi. Hi. Um, my homework is First sentence, my house, my house is very hot. Mm -hmm. The harvest is really good. Okay. My dog is extremely retro. Okay, that's nice. Excellent job. Cloudy, pick another co-worker or another classmate. Okay. Um, Alexia Contreras. Alexia, I knew it. Go ahead, my girl. Okay. Okay. First, her hat is very cheap. Okay. And number two, you look so pretty. Thank you. And number three, she drives extremely fast. I don't know how do you pronounce extremely. 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 Extremely fast. Okay. Like a fast and furious man. Extremely. Yes. Very good. Now, I'm a, pick another classmate, Alexia. Okay. Why? <coughs> Mauricio Velasquez. Uh, he already participated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, let me see. Oh, Christian Salazar. He was not in the class yesterday, so he's dismissed. Okay. <laughs> um, like Victor. Victor, no. No yet. Gabriela. Gabriela M. He already participated. No. <laughs> you have three choices right now. You have two handsome men and one beautiful woman. Gabby? She already participated. Okay, let me help you. Uh, Alexander, okay? Speak Alexander. Okay, go ahead, sir. That's okay, Alexia. Great job. Okay, sir. We'll listen to you. Okay, number one. Mm -hmm. The like is extremely large. Very good. 
Your computer is very nice and very good. Okay. Your sister is very pretty. Aha, uh -huh. I knew where you were going to say that. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And you don't know my sister. <laughs> and she's married, so I'm Napoleon. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> All righty. Very good, Alexander. Great job. Mr. Elgardo. Hi. <laughs> we listen to you, sir. Go ahead. Okay. This this is my homework. Go ahead, sir. My my first sentence. His work is extremely dangerous. Very good. The second sentence. The shirt is pretty small. Hey, excellent. My three sentence. Her eye is very exciting. Her eyes are very exciting. Wow. Yeah. Just, just like <laughs> yeah. my ones. Yay. Okay. It's not a computer, but my, my eyes are green. <laughs> yeah, definitely they are. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yes, my eyes are green. Definitely. Ha! You will meet me one day in prison. Okay, well, don't worry about that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and last but not least, Marta. Marta L, how are you? How are you, Martita? Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi. Did you do your homework? Yeah, did you do your homework, Martita? Yes. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening to you. Okay, we'll listen to you. Go ahead. Eh, eh, um, second. They are a pretty uh, three cents. Okay. And the last one? Can three you hear? Is the yes. Dress is a Can you please repeat it? I think you were cutting off. Repeat one more time the third sentence, please, Martita. <coughs> Did you hear her, guys? Yes. Yes? yes? Okay. Very good. Yes. Okay. Excellent job, guys. Great job. Congratulations. I'm so happy. And I'm so proud of you because you did your homework. Excellent job. So Christian and Victor. Yes, we're going to um, uh, we're going to ask you the same homework back for tomorrow. Okay. 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 So don't worry about that. What happened, Victor? Can you can you listen to us? No, I think we have a bad connection with Victor. We we cannot hear you, Victor. Can you hear Victor, guys? No. No. We cannot no. hear you, Victor. No. Uh, no. Uh, I think something happens. Okay, don't worry about it. Just fix it. Take your time. Okay, Victor, don't worry about that. Okay, guys. Today we're going to start a new topic. Had the chance to work the platform and double check what will be today's topic. Mm -hmm. No, right? Nobody went to the platform. Mm -hmm. Come no, I, 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 I am. You did? Yes. Okay, tell me, Luis, what is the topic for today? What today's um, topic? Um, uh, uh -huh. And, but, how, uh, however. Exactly. And, but, thought, and how, however. Okay, however. very good. Those guys are known in grammar as conjunctions. Conjunctions. Yes. Exactly. As in Spanish, in English, we have a lot of type of conjunctions. Okay. But don't worry. Don't get panicked because we're not going to get deeply in that. Okay. Don't worry about that because we have a lot of them. But 
let me ask you guys, you have used that in Spanish because we have learned that in language subject. Do you, some of you, I don't know if there's uh, anybody for, of you guys that remember what is a conjunction? Who can tell me what is a conjunction? Or oh, when do we use it or how do we use it? Any uh, ideas? When, when we, 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 we want to union press Exactly, exactly. Basically to join, to join, right? Words, join. phrases, as you said, ideas or clauses. Exactly. We have a lot of them. We have copulative conjunctions. We do have subordinate conjunctions. We have Albert for conjunctions, etc. Okay, but don't worry about it. Today we're going to focus on four of them, which is basically the most used. And as you said, Liz, it's going to be and, but, dot, and however. Okay, cool. So let the body start. Okay, are you ready? Ready. Are you excited? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm the only one excited. Come on. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, I'm, mm -mm, I don't believe you. Are you guys ready? Yes. Ready. Yes, yes. Ready. that's what I want to hear. Always. Energy. Come on. Very good job. <clears throat> okay, so let me search right now my screen. And um, I'm going to share with you as well. All righty. I love conjunctions. That is one of my favorite ones. I don't know why. Do you love conjunction, guys? Do you love grammar? Uh, uh, no, right? A little. <laughs> okay, yes. Uh, a little bit. A little okay. bit. Yes. Just remember, guys, that um, basically um, conjunction, we use it la, basically uh, to give more information, remember, to give alternatives, to give reasons, to give results or to give unexpected information, okay? To connect two parts of a sentences, which are similarly in grammar status, okay? That's how we use conjunctions. So without continuing, let me open it right now on my screen and I'm going to share right now with you the information that I do have. And I'm going to ask you also to participate in it for me, okay? There you go. Alrighty. Just allow me one moment and now I will share right now with you my screen. Okay. There you go. Tell me as long as you're able to see my screen, okay? Okay. 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 Hey, you see it, guys? Yeah. Yay. Okay. Pretty good. Thank you. Okay. So, guys, this is the conjunctions that we do have. Uh, could you please be so kind to read for me the first sentence of uh, Sandra? The first one, please. Um, I, it's an exciting city and the weather is nice. Very good. <laughs> and can I have the second one, please, uh, Mr. Moran? Okay. It's a big city, but it's not too big. Very good. Okay, guys. I Okay, right now we're going to stay here for a reason. Okay? And I want you to pay attention on this particular side, okay? I want you to pay attention on the left side first. Okay? Okay. All righty, guys. Okay. Tell me something. Um, we have... And... Is it a conjunction? Yeah. Yes. yes. Cool. And we have but. Is it a conjunction? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, guys, tell me something. These two conjunctions, which part of the sentence are they? At the beginning and the middle or at the end? In the middle. Yeah, In the, the middle. 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 Exactly. And tell me something. Did you notice also that the both conjunctions also are after one punctuation. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Which punctuation we use it? Comma. 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 Yay. 
You see, we have a here and we have a here. It's really important. Okay? Okay. All right. But guys, do you have, do you see that there is a difference between each of them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For example, the first one, it's an exciting city and the weather is nice. It's more information. Uh-huh. That is one, one of reason. But tell me something. What I said, it's an exciting city and it, the weather is nice. Are those ideas positive or negative? Positive. 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 Very good. Both of them, right? Yes. yes. Right. Okay. Uh, can I say it's a boring city and the weather is bad? Negative. Yes. Negative. Negative. Exactly. Negative. So, guys, when with the conjunction and we use it to join two ideas, two positive ideas or two negative ideas. But. Okay. Yes, exactly. The two, the two clauses, the first clause and the second clause, that means that what we call in grammar, guys, parts. Parts of sentences, we call in grammar clauses. Okay? So we have number one here. This is the first clause because it's separated by comma. Okay? And we have the second clause. Okay? What is after the comma? Okay, so we use this one. In this case, we use the conjunction and this one, guys. This conjunction, the one that you see, we would like to join or put together two ideas, but two positive ones or two negative ones. Okay, both of them has to be positive and both of them has to be negative. Okay? Okay. 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 That is how you use N. However, okay, let's, talk, let's double check about bat. That is also in the middle. And bat is also used after coma. But this one, guys, is different. Because yes. this one, if you see, for example, uh, Moran, can you, no, Alexander, can you please read for me the sentence? <coughs> With bat, the number two. It's it's a big city, but it's not too big. Okay. Okay, it's a big city, but it's not too big. Tell me, guys, are both ideas positives? No. 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 The first one is no. positive or negative? Positive. 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 What about the, the second one? Positive. And the second negative. one? Negative. 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 Exactly. Okay, guys. So, but we use it when we like to combine a positive with a negative one. Okay, to make like a contrast, okay? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. You can say, for example, um, he's a good looking, but he's not really nice. Okay? Okay. Okay, example. Okay, let's practice with and and but, okay? And then okay. we're going to move forward to the other conjunctions. Uh, Mauricio. Can you come up with an idea or a sentence using and, please? A sentence using uh, and. Uh, I, I like go to the beach and go to pick a lake. Okay, very good. You join two sentences. All right, very good. Can I have an example with that, Luis Alberto? Okay. Um, Today, today is a um, a cloudy day, but it's it's really hot. Very good, excellent. You make a contrast. Excellent job. Very good. Let's have another example of Gavi M. Go ahead. Give me an example with end. Um, I like um the beach but i don't like um um fill me with uh sun ah okay but you said but okay do me a favor try to use end two positive and. ideas or two negative ones okay um 
My house is small, but I like my house. Oh, sorry, sorry. And my house, my house is small and is um pretty. It have, but it's pretty. Okay, very good. Remember, guys, that we're going to use conjunctions and also we're still using adjectives. Do you remember that? Can you see that? You see, these guys, I want you to pay attention on this particular thing. You see, exciting is it's an adjective. Yes or no? Yes. 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 And nice is an adjective as well. Yes. Big yes. is an adjective as well on this one. Okay? So very good, guys. So I want you to use that conjunction, but at the same time, don't forget about the adjectives, okay? Um, okay. Mr. Elgardo Estrada, you want to try? Hi. Hi. Can I have a sentence with and, yeah. please? With and? Yes, please. Okay. This day is beautiful and exciting very good excellent two positive ideas very good job now can i use can i have a sentence with but please but uh, mm -hmm. um, this day is um, okay uh, the work is uh, is good but uh, it's very hard very good excellent job excellent job and last but not least, uh, Christian, you want to try? Uh, yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Can I have a sentence with N, please? With N, okay. My children's, my children's are uh, pretty and intelligent. Oh, oh, okay. Very good. What about with bet? But I... I, I like play football, but I don't like seeing it in TV. Ah, okay. You don't like seeing it on TV or you don't like watching on TV? Uh, watching on TV. Very good. Excellent job. Okay, guys. Okay. Guys, let me ask you. Is it clear the use of and and but? Yes. Okay. Yes. Can we move forward to but and however? Yes. Okay. So I want you guys to pay attention on the right side, okay? Alrighty. Very good. We have here thought, okay? And we have however. Let me ask you guys, um, which part of the sentences are both of them? At the beginning, in the middle, or at the end? The end. At the end. At the end. Exactly. This one, guys, are at the end most of the time except for this one that this one can also be at the beginning okay but most of the time we use it for speaking practices or for speaking purposes most of the time we use it at the end of the sentence but also guys you can see that also we have a punctuation here is that correct yeah Yay. Okay, so we also follow punctuation, okay? Grammar is really important. If you use it, the conjunction always has to be a punctuation. Never forget that, especially if you use it at the end of the sentences, which is in this case of thought and however, okay? Okay. Also, if however is at the beginning, as well, you have to use comma. Okay? okay? There will be one time or... Yes, one time that could be in the middle, okay? But it's really weird, but could be in the middle. When however is in the middle, you don't use commas, okay? I will show it to you that later on. Don't worry about that. Okay, Mr. Moran? Because I know that Mr. Moran will have a question. What will be the difference between thought and however? That will be one of his questions. And I'm prepared for you, sir, so don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> okay don't worry about it guys okay but do me a favor you can you see something guys really quickly uh, you, there's a difference between the first conjunctions and the second conjunctions 
Who can tell me that? Look at the, the, the conjunction them. is at the end. Aha, uh -huh, this is one of the uh, difference. There is another difference. In the first one, just comma, in the second one, just uh, point, point. Aha, uh -huh, Alex, very good, I miss you. Where is this <laughs> guy? Where is this guy? Exactly. Alex says something really good. You see, guys, that there is one sentence. Is that correct? Yes. And we have period. There is another sentence here. And we have period. In the second sentence, in the second clause, we have the conjunction. Can you see that? Okay. No. You see? No. We have a no. conjunction here. We have the conjunction here. Okay. No. This is number one. And this is number two. 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 You see, guys? Here, over here, there's one sentence. Okay, and this one is the second part of the sentence. You see that there's a difference? Yes. Okay, here guys, and is helping us to like join two positive things or two negative things. But it gives you the information to make a contrast. The thought and however is used to make like an emphasize, right? for some things that is why it's different and that is why you use it at the end of the sentence and if you if you a uh, if you double check guys if you just read for example just the first part of the sentence solo leen la primera sentence in the right side in la in la parte derecha si yo solo leo la primera sentence ¿Verdad que tiene sentido? It's a big city. Solo eso. Quítenle yes. la segunda clause. It's a big city. ¿Tiene sentido? Yes. Ok. Yes. Lo mismo en el segundo. It's a big city. You understand that the city is big, right? Yeah. Right. Ok. Yes. Ok. Now we do the opposite thing. Hagamos la cosa opuesta. Pongan su mano tapando la primera parte donde dice it's a big city. Solo eso. Y lean... La segunda clause, donde dice, it's not too big thought. It's not too big, however. ¿Tiene sentido? No. 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 Because you're going to ask, hey, what are you talking about? ¿De qué estás hablando? Uh -huh. What are you talking about? Okay. Entonces, para que la segunda clause, o la segunda part of the sentence, tenga sentido, we need the first one. Necesitamos la primera. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, and that doesn't yes. make sense. ¿Sí? Entonces, ¿ven, ven por qué es diferente el thought y el however del any y el but? Yes. yes. Primero yes. porque va al final y segundo porque you emphasize. For example, you said, it's a big city. Sí, una gran ciudad. It's not too big thought. Aunque no es muy grande. ¿Sí? ¿Entiendes? It's not a big city. It's not too big, however. No es grande, o es muy, no es muy grande, sin embargo, ¿ok? Sin embargo. Sin embargo. Si ustedes se fijan, sin embargo, you could put it at the end of the sentence, pero también tú lo puedes poner at the beginning of the sentence. Tú puedes decir, por ejemplo, however, sin embargo, it's a big it's city. Not big. It's, big it's not city. too big. ¿Sí? El however es el, de los dos que estamos viendo, es el único que puede ir at the beginning o at the end. El thought, no. ¿Ok? Okay. ¿Ven la diferencia entre los las dos tipos de conjunctions? Mm -hmm. Yes, Moran, you have a question yes. mark. Go ahead, sir. However, ¿lo puedo usar en medio de las dos sentencias? Yes, you can do it. ¿Y throw? Thought no. Throw. No. Solo final. No. Solo at the end. Si usted utiliza thought y however at the end, you have to put a coma antes de... Y usualmente lo ocupa en la segunda clause, en la segunda sentence. ¿Sí? Igual, si usted, however, lo pone al principio de la sentence, también va a usar coma. Si usted lo pone en medio, no usa coma. ¿Sí? Okay. Exactly. Teacher. Eh, yes, Sandrita, go ahead. Tau, the meaning of tau. Tau. Tau mm -hmm. is the 
Sechen, Tov, Aunque. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Very good. ¿Estamos bien ahí? Teacher, yes. yes. hay donde no me, no me suena mucho porque el yeah, Tov es, es aunque, Sentido. pero no lo debería usar en medio eh, de las dos sentencias. No. Es que al final lo siento. Yo sé, no sé. Porque, porque en español no lo usamos así. Pero en inglés, speaking, está thought y está all thought. Está all thought y thought, ¿sí? Que son las, lo que se llaman subordinated conjunctions, ¿sí? No me voy a entrar mucho en detalle porque hay muchas conjunctions. Pero en, en la manera de speaking, en americano, nosotros lo usamos al final. Siempre. En español tal vez no tenga mucho sentido. Porque nosotros no hablamos así. ¿Sí? Pero en inglés sí. Más que todo es speaking. Y es grammarly. Es porque es grammarly. So it has the way it is. Gramaticalmente, la grammar inglesa así es, en este caso. Lo único que tienes que hacer es tratar de darle sentido en español. Pero gramaticalmente tiene que ir ahí. Yo sé que es confuso. Porque hay muchas cosas en español que we don't have in English. Y en inglés that we don't have in Spanish, right? Sobre todo pronunciations, ideas, and words. Phonetics también. Exactly. So that's why we need to use to it. Okay? Muy bien. Claudita, Moran, Victor, any questions? ¿Estamos bien? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes. 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 Como like water or like corchata? Like <laughs> corchata. Like corchata. Okay. Chata sin morro. Okay, thank you. So at least chuco. Oh, chuco. Okay, cool. Chuco. <laughs> All righty. Okay, let me share another screen right now with you. That will help see as well. Very good. Let me give you another example, okay? I make like a, like a little bit of explanation so you have more clear of that idea that I would like to share with you. Okay, can you see it, guys? Yes. Okay, yes, cool. Yes. Okay, you, can you see? First of all, we have end. Do you remember? This is like a review. Okay, tell me, Fernando, can you please read it for me? Okay, end. Yes, please. We we use it to connect to or to ideas. Okay, we use it to connect to positive or to oh. negative ideas. Okay, ideas. And, we have, and we have an example. Claudita, can you please read the example? Uh, this city is ugly and small. Very good. Canada, <laughs> mm -hmm. Canada is a big country and very clean. Very good, guys. If you see, I have, I have tried to put the, the conjunction in a, in a different color and and also the comma okay for you to not to uh, forget that because it's really important and let me ask you guys in both sentences the ideas are positive or negative positive positive, positive. exactly positive. exactly we have a uh, no first no. the first negative. one is negative um, very good negative. Alex. And Two are uh, negative. Small. No. For example, you see this one? The first one. Ugly. It's ugly. 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 And a small. Ugly. Exactly. This is negative, right? This is negative. Yeah. What about this one? Big country. That's and very clean. Very clean. How's it? Exactly. Positive. Exactly. Very good job. Now, just but Mauricio, can you please read for me? Okay, but connects a positive idea with a negative idea. Exactly, very good. Can I have the example, please, Mauricio? The example: the restaurant is good, is good, but is very expensive. Exactly. You see, guys, this is a contrasted idea. I'm saying that I love the restaurant because it's good. Bueno, but there, yeah. exactly, but there's a contrast. You cannot go every day there, right? Because it's very expensive. It's very expensive. So you see, very, very contrasted. Okay? Yes. One positive thing with a negative thing. And also, guys, don't forget the cold. 
always the coma and 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 that goes before okay before the coma okay. and then the conjunction is it clear yeah. yes, I yes. Heard it. Yeah. yes yes okay yes. cool right. now guys thought and however who can read it for me victor it's your turn my man go ahead we cannot hear you no, we cannot hear you. I don't know what's going on. Ay, you know what? You are safe. Está salvado. You are safe. Alexander, what did you do? Okay, Gabby. Gabby without M. Okay. Go ahead. Um, connect positive idea with negative one goes at the end of the sentence. Exactly. Guys, thought and however, you use it similarly for bad. That means that you can connect positive with negative ideas and vice versa. The difference, as, as I said, will be the position. Okay? The position is at the end of the sentence, as you can see here in the example, and also that they are part of the second clause. You see that? The second one. This one. The second one. Okay? Exactly. Let, okay, let's read it. Moran, can you please read for me the first example? Sure. She is really, she is really pretty. pretty. Mm -hmm. She is not nice, however. Exactly. She's really pretty. She's not nice, however. Okay. She's not nice. ¿Cómo me lo traducirías en español, Sandrita? Ella es bonita. ¿Bonita o muy bonita? Ella es muy bonita, muy mm -hmm. bonita. Eh, que dijimos que era however. Sin, sin, embargo, embargo, sin, embargo, sin embargo, embargo. Sin embargo, no, no, es, no lo es tanto. No es, eh, no, no, no es lo agradable. Es. No es agradable. Exactly. Agradable. Exactly. agradable. She's not nice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, ella es, no es agradable, sin embargo. ¿Verdad? ¿Ves? Uh -huh. La primera es positive. La primera parte, she's really pretty. ¿Es positive o negative? Es muy bonita. Yeah, positive. Positive. Yes, positive. positive. What about yeah. the second one? Es negativo. Mm -hmm. si, yo, si yo quito y pongo mi dedo en el primero, en el segundo, she's really pretty. ¿Tiene sentido? Yeah. Yes. 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 Si yes. yo pongo yes. mi dedo en la primera y solo leo la segunda parte, she's not nice, however, ¿tiene sentido? No. 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 ¿Verdad no. que la segunda necesita de la primera para make sense? Sí. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yes. ¿Ven? ¿Ven por qué sí. diferencia? En las primeras, ustedes se fijan, las ideas. Las phrases, las words, son separadas por coma y por el conjunction. Pero en la segunda, que es however you thought, primero pongo la primera idea, punto, finalizo mi idea, y luego comienzo otra idea. Y en la segunda es que yo utilizo la conjunction thought y la conjunction however. ¿Me entienden? Sí. ¿Cómo ven ahí? Ok. Can you please read the second example? Claudita. Um, it's big city. It's, perdón, sorry. Yes, you can do it's it. a big city. It's not too crowded out. Very good. How can you how you say that in Spanish, Alexander Graham Bell? Number two. Alexander. Yes, Alexander Graham Bell. Uh, es grande. La ciudad. Ok. Es una gran ciudad. It's a big city. Crowded. No. ¿Qué era crowded? Do you remember, guys? I explained that. Concurrido. Exactly. Concurrido. Concurrido. A lot of people. Like, just get on the stereo with the fast and fearful. Yes. That's, Sin embargo. That's... Es... Sin embargo, Sin embargo no. se puede. Sin embargo, es however. ¿Qué thought dijimos? Aunque. 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 Okay. Aunque. 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 Es grande la ciudad, aunque se puede movilizar. It's not too crowded. Quiere decir que no es muy concurrida, aunque. O yo puedo decir, aunque no es muy concurrida. Aunque. Si yo, si yo utilizo thought al principio, podemos hacerlo. Al principio de la segunda podemos decir, aunque no es muy concurrida, coma, it's a big city. ¿Verdad que sí tiene sentido también? Yes. 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 No, yes. Thought yes. puede usarse al principio o al final. Pero vean una cosa. El thought 
no voy a ponerlo aquí donde dice it's a big city. No way. No. Si yo utilizo, por ejemplo, el thought at the beginning of the sentence, este segundo clause se viene para acá, para el principio. ¿Sí? Yeah. Y el big city se vuelve el segundo clause. ¿Entiende? Oh. Yeah? yeah? You got it or no? Yes. Yes. I got it. You got it? Okay. Yes. Eso es bien importante que lo vean. Si yo okay. utilizo uno u otro, va a depender. Dígame, Claudita. Prácticamente le daría vuelta a la oración. Exactly, my girl. Okay. Bárbara. That's what I love you. Very good. <laughs> exactly. Entonces, vea, si yo puso thought at the beginning, este va para acá, right? ¿O no? Y si yo utilizo este, este va para acá. ¿Sí? Yeah. Entonces, se quedaría así. Take a look. Oops, sorry. Stuff is not too big, crap. Oops, creo que lo, lo puse así como muy juntito, ¿verdad? Uy, yeah. teacher, qué barbaridad, señora. Come on. Credit, <laughs> coma. Una e de más también. Oh, ajá, ya viste. Very good. ¿A, ¿A dónde le puse más? Rodi. Después de la W. Rodi. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, cool, right? Hoy sí. In the yes, coma yes. beginning. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, before tau. Uh -huh. No. No. ¿Dónde va? Ahí. Point. Uh -huh. Ven Ahí al principio. Point. Exactly. Coma. Al principio. Tau coma. Ajá. Tau coma, right? Uh -huh. Ajá. Quería ver si estaban prestando atención. Uh -huh. Hmm. Menos mal. Ok. Very good. Hoy ven, oh, ven la diferencia. Yes, yes. Ok. Any questions so far? Teacher. Yes, uh, student. Uh, for, for the example, is mm -hmm. correct. Is correct, yes, Fernando. Yesterday I went to play. Even to my mom, my, my mom would not. Ok, yes. However, that is, that is another conjunction. Okay. Even though. Even though. That's another that is conjunction. It. Yes. I will, uh, I will try to send you guys a link where you can study all the conjunctions that we do have. There are a lot. Yes. Okay. Also, we are ones that calls conjunction adverbs or adverbs of conjunctions. But there are some numbers that you use it as a conjunction in sentences. So, like, oof. so there's a lot of to study, guys. Okay. Hey, let me let me share it with you. Uh, one of the lists that we have. Ah, I, I have a, a few right now. <laughs> yes. Okay. Can you see it, guys? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. These words are, uh, guys. A uh, present explanations, ideas, exceptions, consequences, and contrast. And this is we, what, the one that we have. We have and. Gabby, Gabby without M. Gabby sin M, ¿me lo podrías leer? Creo que Gabby no se quita. Mm, no. Ok, veo sí, Gabby. ¿Pero Hola. podrías leer todas las conjunctions que tenemos? Todas, okay. Some place. Mm -hmm. Okay. No mm -hmm. more. Esas son las, very good. These are the commonly used American English, in American English, guys. That's más común es. And, let's, okay, let's yes. practice the pronunciation. And. And. and as, as. As. Because. Because, because but, 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 but for, for, for just us, just us, just, just us, us or, or, or neither, neither, neither nor, 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 not only, 
Not only, only, so, only so, 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 weather, so, weather, jet, jet, jet. jet. Okay, jet. Laura, you, 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 uh, you want to ask a question? Go ahead, we'll listen to you. Laura, raise your hand. Uh, she goes out. She goes out? Yes. Okay, maybe she has a, a, a bad connection. That could be. Okay. No, yes. she's in another course. Ah, okay, okay. Another okay. class. Oh, maybe it was a mistake, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, guys, so these are the most commonly ones, okay? And let me uh, share also with you the difference between however and thought. Okay, we have four difference right now. Take a look. Thought is that we call in a grammar subordinate conjunction. And however is that we call conjunctive adverb. Okay, so that means guys that they are in a different category. Both of them are conjunctions, but they are they belong to separate groups. See, son conjunciones, pero son dos tipos diferentes de conjunciones. Okay. Okay. El, el, el dote o all dote o dote también porque está all dote y dote son prácticamente similares y pre, son en la misma categoría son las que son conjunciones subordinadas ¿por qué subordinadas? porque dependen de la primera clause para tener sentido ¿se recuerda la, la, el ejemplo que pusimos? sí, yes. ¿Sí? Yes. que la yes. segunda no puede existir sin la primera para tener sentido that's why they are subordinate conjunction ¿Sí? Ok. En okay. however, si ustedes se fijan, es una conjunctive adverb. ¿Por qué? Porque yo lo puedo mover en cualquier parte de la oración y make sense. ¿Sí? sí. ¿Entienden? Sí, es lo que vimos. Ok. Sí. Y ven, ven acá. However is more formal than although. Eso es bien importante en American English, guys. However es más polite. ¿Sí? Si ustedes lo quieren ver. Popular. Popular, exactly, Luis Valberto, exactly. So, it, usamos más however que thought or all thought, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, pero both all thought and however connect two sentences that do not go well with each other, okay? Y también, miren que interesante. Eh, a more formal and stiff sentence gets created with the use of however and the sentence becomes heavily dependent upon the cause that follows, however. Es lo que le estaba diciendo, que es como dependiente. Cuando, cuando, cuando la sentence, con, lo ponemos however al principio, la segunda depende de la primera cuando however está al, fin, al principio de la oración. Eso es lo que quiere decir. Y al final, although relates with the phrase in a speed of fat, and one can use simple thought, it is placed in all situations, okay? En otras palabras, es lo que yo le estaba diciendo. Don't worry about that. Bueno, chicos, ¿cómo vamos ahorita? Bien. Good. Bien. Al borde Very del good. colapso. No. no. More or less. More or less. Ay, teacher. Yes, I know that sometimes grammar is like, Arr. but I try to make you as simple as possible, guys. Right? We're going to practice. We're going to use it. So, guys. Guess what? A new homework. Oh, no. Yay. Yay. Yes. Don't you are excited about it? No. Okay. Okay. It's a nice class. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's very tough, however. Right? You see? We have used conjunction. Okay. Okay. So, guys, tomorrow I want a sentence. I want each sentence. One with end, one with bet, one with however, and one with dot. Okay. And for Mr. Victor and for Mr. Christian, <sighs> you have two homeworks. Okay. <laughs> you have today's topics. And you have uh, today's topic also, and you have yesterday topic. Yeah. yeah. So it was adverbs before adjectives, right? Like very, pretty, 
okay? Don't worry, guys. I will be nice with you, okay? So I'm going to send with you, uh, to you, sorry, and I'm going to share with you basically the PowerPoint links, the power files that I have, okay? With the two topics, the one that we have seen yesterday and the one that we have finished today. So you will have like a material that you can double check and be prepared for tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. okay. any questions? Okay. No. no. Homework? No. Yes, Edgardo, go ahead. Four sentences. Four sentences. Four sentences. For and, but, so, however. Exactly. Very okay. good. That's my man. Excellent. Okay, so guys, uh, I know time is over. Oh my God, I don't know why one hour passed really fast. <laughs> when the class is really entertaining, it was really amazing and interesting. <laughs> hi, Cloudy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hi. <laughs> Especially when I'm talking about grammar. <laughs> okay, so yay. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm, because I want to know if everybody's paying attention, that's why I'm asking those kinds of questions. <laughs> okay, guys, so please uh, study or a study. Now guys, okay. you can do part of the platform exercises. You can do that right now. So please uh, try to go at the same pace with the class and at the same pace with the platform. It's really important because it's there you practice, right? Okay, so we need to go like together, platform and classes, platform and classes. And if you have any questions regarding platform or regarding each of the topics that we have seen, yesterday and today please feel free to send me a message okay we'll be more than glad to give you a hand or okay i'll help you with any doubt that you might have okay okay okay, okay. guys so thank you hugs and kisses sweet dreams thank and see thank you tomorrow you. okay thank, thank you, you. Tomorrow. have a lovely one bye-bye take care you. Bye.